Hi everyone. Um, this is an intro to our new product, which is our Opal Pay Dirt. Uh, this is a full size, a uh, little over a pound. Um, you can see that uh, it's got the original um, clay that opals are found in. This is actually from Australia. Uh, opals in the um, pay dirt. Uh, I managed to hook up with uh, dealer, and uh, it's ever gonna it's gonna be uh, ever involve, evolving uh, to be better and better. Uh, this is our first rollout, so uh, it 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 uh, it'll be fun. Um, one thing I did do is uh, secure a, a line of um, uh, what do you call it? A professional uh, cutters and polishers and the like. Um, so. Uh, even when you get one, you can have it uh, made into a gem quality, keep it as a rough or um, a rub or whatever you'd like. Um, so it, you, the, uh, the uh, end product is uh, whatever you'd like. Um, without any more talking. Now, these are tailings from uh, a, um, mines up in, uh, in Australia, Lightning Ridge mines, and uh, no telling what's inside. I tried to locate one, but I don't want to break them apart because I'm sure that uh, that would be something you all would like to do. Ooh, there's some right there. It's a nice little ribbon. See, so I wouldn't goes on to this side here so I wouldn't want to uh, deprive you from doing some of your own um, discoveries here's a nice little knobby in fact I'm going to take some of these out and put some water on them and show you what they look like Won't hurt the clay any, it'll just dry out. These are some of the opals that you will find in the pay dirt. This one's called a, uh, I believe it's called a knobby. I'm not an expert, just so you know, but I have been following. Uh, a company and um, Black Opal Direct online and they uh, he's really good Jason is really good at this but some of the stuff they do is they'll take a small uh, torch is what they call them but a light and they will shine it through to see if that's a color band right there let me see if I can get a little better color There we go. See that color band? It goes all the way through. This is a nice one. This one will turn into a gem. And what you're looking for is any sand pockets or anything like that. And I think it's called inclusions in the middle. And this one doesn't have any. You can see the color bar going all the way around. I hope you can. This is some of the uh, opal that you'll find in here. You'll also get some um, some chips. Some of these have excellent color. And you can turn them into like little mosaic handles. I've seen some of these um, go onto a knife, a uh, skinning knife, and they just look gorgeous. Just kind of go through these. 
Um, let's see now. Like I said, the, some of these are, are rubs, which means that you could see the color bar all the way around. Some of these need to be a rub. This one, I would take this one and and uh, like tuck, take off the top and leave the uh, see if you can get down to the color bar that goes all the way around. It's a nice blue color bar. That could be gem quality easily. Another chip. Excellent color. You can find some more. Um, there's some seam opal, which is a, a, a flatter opal rather than a knobby. That is really pretty. Again, this is all around Lightning Ridge. This one will turn out into a nice size gem. As long as the, the uh, sand pockets don't go all the way through. But um, you see they're spread throughout. Nice little chip ruse there. No telling. I would break up all of these big ones, but be careful. You don't want to like stomp them into the ground or use a uh, what do you call them? One of those mortar and pestles. You want to be nice and easy. I'd probably um, soak them overnight in water. See if you can bust them apart. Some really hard clay, but it is clay. But like I said, they're all from Lightning Ridge. Oh, there's a nice one. A lot of earring, uh, earring material. Some ring material. A few pendant material. That's a pretty one. But what I can do is if you have one, you get one and you're curious without spending any money, you can send it back to me and I will do a rub for you and then uh, we can send it off to a uh, professional cutter and see what he thinks before you spend any money whatsoever. Um, and then at the end either he can buy it from you or one of his buyers will buy it from you or send it back and you can put it uh, under the Christmas tree. So that's basically it. You want to go through all of these big ones and uh, check it out for stones that are still left. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a pretty one. Anyways, that's what's in our opal bag. Uh, our opal bag runs uh, $65 for the one pound. And this is about what you'll get in it. Uh, it may not be as big a stones, um, as many big stones, but there will be at least one cuttable that that I can tell. I mean, they're really tough to tell. You could pull this one like this and go, ooh, that's a nice one, man. That's going to cut into a nice stone. And then find out the sand goes all the way through, and then you're, you got a couple of small stones maybe. But um, I'll do my best to get you something that's worthwhile and just so you know some of these stones like I would say that one see it's even got the red pin fire on top that's amazing um, that could cut down into oh gosh nice one uh, probably $150 cut and polished maybe more so you'd be getting way over your money back chances of you getting your money back are a lot higher with these opals than with gold gold is a set price 
uh, depending on what you get in your bag of opals that will tell you how much um, ROI it is <laughs> they really can't tell with opals because uh, you won't know until you have them cleaned up and polished and taken a real close look at to see if there's any inclusions or sand pockets or whatever in there so it's all fun and games I love these things They're, they've been uh, something that I've been interested in all my life finally got to play with them there's a bunch in here so Anyways, thought I'd give you a little sneak peek for your samples. Pay attention to the bigger rocks. Um, you're going to find some smaller ones. They're samples. They're not, this isn't a full-blown bag. Uh, your $39 bag, you're going to get about half. And what you see here as far as uh, opals. But anyways, there you are. Good luck.